Hello everyone. This video is all about coconut breeding. Familiarly referred to tree of life, the coconut palm is the only species in the genus Cocos under the palm family Aricaceae. It is a perennial tree crop widely cultivated in the humid tropics occurring in coastal areas and at altitudes up to 1200 meter. The coconut palm is a large monocot growing to 30 meter tall with pinnate leaves. It is often eulogized as Kalpavriksha, tree of heaven and nature's supermarket. It is considered to be nature's valuable gift to mankind due to its innumerable uses to millions of people. It is widely grown throughout the tropical world for decoration as well as for its many culinary and non-culinary uses. Origin and Distribution The origin of coconut is a matter of controversy. Most of the authorities claim it to be a native to South Asia. Recently, it was proposed that there are two geographical origins of coconut cultivation such as Southeast Asia and southern margins of the Indian subcontinent. The main coconut growing areas are located in Asia, West Indies, South America, West and East Africa. In India, the coconut palm is grown in an area of around 1.935 million hectares. Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka account for about 88% of the area. Varietal classification. Coconut has been classified into dwarf and tall varieties based on tree habit. The tall coconuts grow faster than dwarfs. The tall varieties are grown for the production of copra for oil extraction and coir for fiber. While actively cultivated, these varieties lack the obvious domestication traits of the self-pollinating dwarfs. Tall palms, Cocos nocifera, var typica. They are slow maturing and flower 6 to 10 years after planting, long lived with economic life of about 60 to 70 years. They are normally cross pollinating and therefore considered to be heterozygous. Commonly cultivated tall varieties in India include West Coast Tall, East Coast Tall, and Tiptur Tall. Dwarf palms, Cocos nucifera, Vat nana. They begin bearing about the third year at less than 1 meter height. They have a short productive life of 30 to 40 years. They are normally self pollinating and therefore considered to be homozygous. Common dwarfs available in India are Chaugat orange dwarf, Chaugat green dwarf, Kentali, and Gangabandha. Next, we'll look into the floral biology of coconut. Coconut is a monoecious plant whose inflorescence length is about 1 to 2 meter of central axis and about 40 lateral branches called spikelets. Each spikelet bear 200 to 300 male flowers at the top and one or two female flowers at the base. Due to the fact that maturation of inflorescence is a progressive process, pollen discharge and anthesis is continued for about 18 to 20 days. Generally, dwarf palms are considered as autogamous and tall palms as allogamous, but hybrids exhibit both types of pollination. Bees are major pollinating agent followed by wind. Breeding methods of coconut. The first one is introduction. The different cultivars of coconut from Ceylon, Indochina, New Guinea, Java, Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines were introduced in India by Bandra's Agricultural Department. Important introduced varieties include Lakative Ordinary, Lakative Micro, Cochin Chines and West Coast Tall. The second method is selection. Mass selection can be used as effective methods in coconut improvement. The success of this method depends on the ability of breeder and heritability of traits under consideration. Coconut palm are being selected based on yield, age of plant, nature and disposition of leaves, size and shape of nut. The third method is hybridization. The process of identifying male transmitters can be speeded up by the use of dwarf palm as female since they are largely self-pollinated and are reasonably homogeneous. Attempted cross combinations in coconut are dwarf into dwarf, tall into dwarf, dwarf into tall and tall into tall. The crosses between dwarf and into dwarf have not given satisfactory results with respect to yield potential traits. The cross between 
tall into dwarf yields hybrid possessing desirable traits such as precocity in bearing and higher productivity than parents it is reported that hybrid of tall cross dwarf green tall cross dwarf orange and tall cross ganga bandha exhibited heterosis in the weight of nut kernel content and nut water after comparative trials it was found that cod and ganga bandha are desirable pollen parents and wct that is west coast tall and lo are desirable female parents examples for tall cross dwarf cultivars are chandra laksha laksha ganga vhc1 which is obtained out of east coast tall into dwarf green vhc2 that is obtained out of east coast tall into myd anand ganga veera sankara etc the dwarf cross tall hybrids have been found to have higher production potential than tall into dwarf hybrids they have better nutrient utilization ability and respond well to lower levels of applied fertilizers example chandra shankara which is obtained out of cod into west coast tall the fourth method is by utilizing biotechnological tool embryo culture being an important tool for safe germplasm exchange it is useful for producing plantlets from special coconut types such as mohacha naral thair tengai where the endosperm is soft and jelly like and doesn't germinate under normal conditions molecular biology dna based markers significantly increase the efficiency of coconut breeding programs various molecular markers like rapd rflp are used for studying the genetic diversity in coconut germplasm the first genome map for coconut was developed for east african tall into lagna tall f1 population based on issr markers 382 markers have been placed in the map resulting in 16 linkage groups leading to the identification of 6 qtls for early germination genetic correlation have been established between early germination and early flowering early germination and high yield generation of new mapping populations including coconut root wealth phytoplasma resistant material is being focused in india presently work on characterization of conserved coconut germplasm through ssr analysis work on identification of markers associated with economically important traits as well as dwarfness and for selection of hybrid seedling in the nursery are in progress thank you